two groups, the troves of emails that would spill out in the ensuing months. So whatever Russians had hacked, which this was not a Russian hack, this is Podesta's goof up with his phishing. The Obama people believe that a series of warnings, including one that Obama delivered to Putin personally, prompted Moscow to abandon any plans of further aggression, such as sabotaging U.S. voting systems. Topping, well, later in this, like many, many pages you have to read to get to what Obama did. A month later, Obama confronted Putin directly during a meeting of world leaders in China. Accompanied only by interpreters, Obama told Putin, we know what you're doing and you better stop or else. This warning, you better stop or else. And they believe that Putin was practically wetting his pants in fear over that and felt confident that Russia's attempts to sabotage the election would go no further. Does Obama know? <laughs> Hillary laws. This piece, contrary to its purported purpose to portray Obama as a brave president struggling without a punish how to stop Russia, this story portrays Obama as a spineless linguini wimp who was un from cheating for Trump. That's, if you read this, that's what you would come away with. If you could forget the headline that you saw. Beautiful.